and of course BB Coke they're looking to get their second three points of the season there's the starting lineup for the Lakovia team Legor in goal Dwayne Ball Jamal Wright, Nicole Goldburn, Travon Dunkley, Shakina Campbell, Giovanni Stone, Mario Brown, Danique Walker, Daniel Webb, and Kimarley Myers. They are coached by Fitzroy Ambersley, who returns to Lakovia, having left a few seasons ago. Yeah, of course, they're going for a 4-1, 4-1 formation. And as I said before, they are looking to get nine points after this match today. There's the lineup for the re reigning Ben Francis Cup champions Kevon Kavanaugh in goal, Nicole Witter, Roger Coley, Malik Shang, Zarek Grant, Dashan Bartley, Daniel Whiteley, watch him, Sanjay Allen, Enrique Powell, Adrian Griffiths, and Jason Brooks. Kemar Ricketts, the Ben Francis Cup winning coach from 2019, remains in charge. Here are the highlights of the game. Of course, the man to watch wasn't able to put that one away. And here's another player to watch, Daniel Whiteley, not just in this game, but in the competition for BB Coke, was everywhere on the field for BB Coke. Lakovia did have some chances, the best here by Dunkley. Very good positioning by the number six and the keeper wanted to see that one through Kavanaugh but he wasn't able to put that one on target and here's the first goal of the contest three goals in this one but the first was just exquisite a depth touch to get by the keeper Lacour and slots it beautifully that at that time was his fifth goal of the season Daniel Whiteley the number 10 and of course, he'll be looking to score more than 10 goals this season. As the man second fiddle to Dwyer. He's done so well in this game. Lakovia did start the second half very, very well. And a recovery by the captain, Nikoi Witter. What a monster of a game in defense. And for a time being, they did not concede a shot there by Malik Chang, should have scored. Unorthodox to get back the ball. But Bang should have put that one on target and he hits the cross, well, the post, and hits the head of the keeper. And here is the second goal of the game. The second for Danae White. Very, very aware. And sorry, Grant. What a very good second half. Malik should have scored. But Dene Whiteley says thank you very much. Powerful shot with his left foot. Bang! And that was his sixth goal of the season. Very, very good free kick by the number 10. Would have wanted to make it a hat trick. But the keeper, Legor, saw that one all the way through. And then a consolation for Lakovia. They continue to press and press and press. And Akeem Bennett, the substitute, puts that one away. But they continue to press again and press and press and press. And then that ball bang into the back of the net. And the one consolation for Lakovia. And that's how it ended. Two goals to one in favor of BB Coke. The match stats 17 shots for Lakovia, 10 for BB Coke, four each on target for both teams. 20 fouls committed, 11 committed by BB Coke, nine for Lakovia. No yellow cards or one yellow card, um, no red cards, four offside, one on offside for BB Coke, four corners for Lakovia, three for BB Coke, three saves made by Cabano, two by Lagor, but BB Coke bolstering the possession 69% to 31. Gerard is downstairs with our MVP. Yeah, so we're here with Danny Whiteley. What do you want to say to your teammate Tajir Lorman? Well, I want 
to tell him to get well soon and hurry up and be back. All right. Uh, I want to ask you, what do you see your overall role in this team as being? Overall role? Right, well, my role in the team is to help my team get forward, score goals, and have a wonderful game. You started in the left uh, of the field and you drifted into the middle and into the left, or back onto the left again. How did you get away from your marker to score those goals? Because I keep moving, I don't stay one place, as you can see. Yeah, all right, so all the best and uh, congratulations today. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna. Yeah, now we're going to chat to uh, the Lakovia coach. Coach, uh, you had the, uh, some early opportunities uh, in the game. Had you scored one, do you think the result would be different? It would. Uh, we have worked very hard, and I think what the boys have done so far is very good. But we just need to work on the 18 yard box and to continue practicing, finishing a lot, and then we move on from there. But apart from that, it was good. What will be the approach for the next game? Uh, the next game, it will be a ding dong buckle. I'm um, a virgin as well, so we, we, we look forward to that. Uh, do you think the boys gave up a little bit too early? Um, I wouldn't say gave up a little bit too early. I think what happened in the game at this point in time is that they were a little bit relaxed. And because they found out when persons play them too soft, they kind of give them some time to play. And then when the person get the ball to counter against us, then they start to get active. And that's very bad. All right, Coach. Well, tough luck today and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. All the best. Yeah, so let's have a chat now with the coach for BB Coke. Coach Ricketts, you move to the top of the table now. What is the next step from here? Repeat that. You move to the top of the table now after this game. What is the next step from here? To remain consistent. Um, we, we, we are not we're not leading by ten points, so we, we, we must be consistent and, and take it a game at a time. Are you a little bit upset that you would have conceded in the final seconds of the game? Definitely, any coach will be upset. You know, the game is about to finish, and you can't see the goal like that. Would I love to have the clean sheet? You know, nevertheless, we have the three points, which is which is more important. Yeah. So one of your team members are well is sick. Um, what do you want to say to him, and what is the update on him? He's doing better. He's doing better. Um, at first, we thought he would have required surgery, but. You know, we're getting some very, very good news. And if, if all goes well, he should be up by, by the weekend. We just want to say, Tajay Larman, you know, continue to recuperate. And we're here for you, you know, to help you mentally. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations. And all the best for the rest Thank of the Thank you season. very much. Yeah, man. All the best. So there you have it. The final score, Lakovia 1, BB Cup 2. BB Cope moving to seven points with this victory in Zone C. They are now top of the group, one point ahead of Lakovia. St. Elizabeth the Technical with four points and Monroe College with three points will come up with the day's second encounter. That's coming up after this.